Welcome, you're watching Headset VR, welcome to the channel, welcome to a brand new gaming video. Well, strictly speaking, it's not a brand new game. We are playing State of Decay 2, which has been out for a couple of years now already, and we are actually sitting awaiting State of Decay 3 to launch. But what is new about this video is the brand new UEVR profile we're going to be giving a test. It's not been tested very much at all. It is still a work in progress and it's still early release, but apparently the profile creator says it is in a playable state. So we're going to give it a road test. Okay, so what I'm going to do is explain how we get this set up right literally from the basics. So first things first, you'd need to have the game. Now, I'm playing the game using the Steam version. I don't know whether that will make any difference at the moment. Like I say, it is still a work in progress. And what you need to do is use UEVR version 1040. So let's go and get UEVR 1040. So here we are on Prey Dog's UEVR nightly page. And we're on version 1045. That was the latest release. Now, to find this, if you are on the UEVR nightly page, you just need to go onto releases, just there, which is where you can find all the releases. So, basically, download that. And once the zip file has downloaded, extract it to your desired location. And I've got it just here. So, I've already double clicked on it, and I've got it sitting here waiting. So, what we do then is restart as administrator okay we'll leave that just for now what we're going to do next is get the profile now i've already downloaded the profile just here but we're going to show you how to get it so what you need to do is go into the flat to vr discord and make sure you have the channel enabled for unreal engine vr as you can see here and if you, you've joined the Flat to VR Discord, which you can literally do just by Googling Flat, the number two, and then VR, and then Discord, and it should send you an invite. Once you've accepted that invite, what you should do then is on the Browse Channels, that is where you look for Unreal Engine VR. Now, it won't show it to me because I'm already a member of it. But basically, you need to go through the server rules, mod access, and then once you've got yourself available for the channels, you can tick or disable these channels. But like I say, it's the Unreal Engine VR channel. That's the one that we're looking at. And from there, we're going to find what we've got, State of Decay 2. So once you're in the State of Decay 2 Discord channel, just scroll all the way down to the bottom and if you go a little bit further up you'll find this video here and a post by cleric who's posted his profile that's a profile that you need to download and we've got the profile just here so let's open up uevr okay so we've got uevr opened up now first things first before we inject anything you need to go into the open global dir button here and remove any old profiles that you have of State of Decay already. So just scroll down and look until you find State of Decay 2, which I've got here. Now, it's advised to delete that because you, it can potentially cause conflict with this current profile. So make sure you delete that. Now, I'm not going to because I've already tested this and these are my previous settings. So delete that, of course. And then from there, we're going to go on to import config. 
and we're going to look and find the profile which is just here and we'll open that up and it'll show us all the files that are in the config so just minimize that down and then what we need to do next is just launch the game okay so the game has launched now some people do like injecting on the main menu now i haven't been doing that so let's just get into our save game okay so we're in the game now so pull up the uevr menu and then if you see the little down arrow just here you make sure that is selected on State of Decay 2 Win64 Shipping. If you're using Windows, it may say GDK if you're using Game Pass. So click on that. Now I'm using a PSVR 2 headset, so I'll be using OpenVR. Now if you're using a Quest 3, it may be more beneficial to use OpenXR. So let's inject. Right, so the game has launched in UEVR. Now what this profile will feature is six degrees of freedom guns, physical swinging familiar attacks, physical driving as well, and we've got first person and all the related controls. Now the controls are mostly original, so you need to make sure you know the original controls. I'm not gonna mess around with any of the settings to begin with, we're just gonna have a little bit of a fool around and see what we can do. Let's open that door there. Now the profile is still a work in progress, but the few things it does do is if I pull up the right, well the left trigger, I can aim with a, a weapon. So let's just test some of these abilities on this pack of zombies here. So let's just aim, see if we can aim down sight. Not sure how accurate that is. Let's perhaps try a little closer. I'm so exhausted. I have another task for you. Details forthcoming. Oh, and we can we can melee as well. Watch out, bloater. Okay, right, so now if if you've got a bit of room space, which is what you're going to need for this, you can, just by the swing of the hand, your melee weapon will appear. We're just going to test it on this guy here. Oh. Another hit should do it. Whoa! Shots count. Whoa, so it's getting a little bit tasty, no? That was my last shot. Okay, well, panic over. Let's just test this melee weapon on the dude over here. So you can melee by pressing the button if you want. Or just physically swing. Like I said, the collision's a little bit funky. It is still a work in progress. But so far, it seems very, very playable. Now, I am going to come back and do some more of this. Because this is totally one of my favourite games. I don't really like survival games. But I do love State of Decay. Anyway, that's just a little bit of a demo of what you can get so far if you play State of Decay in UEVR. However, the one thing, the one gripe I've got is you don't have smooth turning, you've got snap turning. So turning with the right stick, it's all done in a snap. If you do try and uncheck it, which you're probably going to, it doesn't move at all. So leave it a snap turning and just get used to it. Unfortunately, like I say, it is a work in progress. Hopefully it can be improved at some point. Oh, what's this? Another weapon! Oh, 
Looks like we've got more zombies coming. Well. Wow, what a good shot. Okay, right, well, I'm just going to leave this here. You're watching Headset VR playing State of Decay 2 using a UEVR profile on the PSVR 2. If you do like what you see, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more VR related content. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I will update as soon as we get more updates, so we'll see you soon for another video. Take care, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.